Multiple Israeli news outlets, including Channel 13, reported on May 16th that Russian S-300 SAM batteries had fired missiles at Israeli jets after they struck targets near Syria's northwestern city of Masyaf last Friday. The report said the Syrian military fired off dozens of anti-aircraft missiles, which, as viewers may note, have been ineffective at preventing Israeli strikes on Syria. However, this time the S-300 batteries also opened fire as the jets were departing the area, Channel 13 stated. Though Channel 13 reported that S-300 batteries let loose at the Israeli aircraft, the outlet said the missiles did not pose a threat to the Israeli jets and there was no radar lock on the planes. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Russian S-300 failed against Israel's American-made F-16 in Syria. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is a premium VPN service available for Mac OS, iOS, Windows, and Android with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries. But why use a VPN or virtual private network? VPN is an encrypted tunnel. A VPN can protect your privacy, which is threatened by many factors like data logging by Internet service providers. It can also help you access contents which are blocked based on geolocation. Why NordVPN? Its servers are fast and has zero log policy. Not only this, NordVPN has taken one step further and recently introduced a new feature, threat protection. Threat protection prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Use the link in the description to get up to 71% off the two-year plan plus threat protection for no extra cost. At the checkout, use the code DEFENSE to get an extra month for free. In 2015, Syria was at the risk of being overrun by ISIS. President Putin had sent troops into Syria in 2015 to defend Bashar al-Assad, a longtime ally. The mission was to defend the strategic Kamem military base, which later turned into a full-blown attack on ISIS. Moscow has put its military might behind Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad to prevent the collapse of the regime. In 2018, Russia deployed S-300 in Syria in its quest to support the dictator and to protect its own assets fielded in the country. As is standard practice, the Israel Defense Forces have not commented one way or another on the strikes. A statement from the Russian Ministry of Defense's Russian Reconciliation Center for Syria had said that Israeli F-16s fired 22 missiles targeting a Syrian scientific research center in the western Syrian city of Masyaf and the port of Banias on May 13th. S-300 is a long-range air defense system. The surveillance radar of the S-300 tracks objects over a range of 300 kilometers or about 185 miles. It must be noted that the system has additional target acquisition radars and uses multiple missiles to cover its strike envelope, which includes short range 9M 96E 40 kilometers or 25 miles, medium range 9M 96E2 120 kilometers or 75 miles and long range 48N6 250 kilometers or 155 miles S300 is designed to take on saturation attacks by having immense firepower at its disposal Each S300 consists of a number of transporter erector launchers TELs and each TEL has four launch tubes In a standard configuration a single battery has four TELs but there could be up to 16 TELs per battery. So, depending on the number of TELs commanded by the S-300, it can launch up to 16 times 4, that is 64 missiles simultaneously. 
The system is thought to be able to resist electronic jamming attacks. Technically, as per Russia, the system can take down any aircraft that flies within its range, especially if they are non-stealthy, like the F-16s used in this case. The incident is the first apparent instance of a Russian-made S-300 firing on Israeli jets as they conduct raids in Syria. Exactly who operates the S-300 systems currently in Syria, regardless of their official status, is unclear. It's known that Russia does, or at least did, control the release of the missiles from Syrian S-300 batteries in the country. As per norms, Israel would inform Russia ahead of time that the former would be conducting airstrikes or operations in Syria to avoid conflict with Russian forces in the area. This is because Russia and Israel have agreed upon a deconfliction mechanism. Essentially, that means Russia doesn't attack Israelis conducting operations in Syria upon informing the Russians, and the Israelis don't attack them, vice versa. The timing aligns with Israel's changing policy over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Notably, Israel has begun supplying some weaponry to Ukrainian forces in recent weeks to counter Russia after dragging its feet for some time. Israel has also denounced Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's public assertion that Adolf Hitler himself was of Jewish ancestry, a long-stated but entirely unsubstantiated conspiracy theory. On paper, the capabilities of Russia's S-300 are daunting. S-300 systems are definitely threats to Israel's ability to access Syrian airspace at any given time, but the Israeli Air Force has developed methods and technologies to counter these systems, especially since they also entered service with arch-rival Iran. These measures have included training in Greece, which operates variants of the S-300, and in the U.S., which got hold of several examples to train against. There are two possibilities. One, the missiles were just fired without a lock to send the message across. This is not impossible, but improbable since these missiles are costly. Two, Israel's renowned electronic warfare systems made locking onto the jets with the S-300 system impossible. This is more likely. Israel is one of the world's leaders in aerial electronic warfare. Viewers may note that the Israel Air Force has been considerably successful against Syrian short-range air defense systems, which include destruction of several Russian-made Pantsir S-1. This came as a major embarrassment for the Russian military. It seems they've inflicted another humiliation, especially since F-16 is not a stealthy fighter like the F35 or F22. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.